warm welcome. Blue is the colour, football is the game, as the old song used to go. We're here at Stamford Bridge tonight in West London. I'm Derek Ray, ready here on the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal, West Ham and commentary midfielder Stuart Robson. And what we have for you tonight is live Champions League group stage match day one action. It is Chelsea up against Milan. Well, thanks, Derek. This is such an important game. Both sides will be desperate to start this group well. Let's hope we see some great football today. This is how it looks for Chelsea. Edouard Mendy stands between the posts. Thiago Silva plays alongside Kalidou Koulibaly in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today, Raheem Sterling. And Milan's lineup looks like this. Mike Mignon begins in goal. Davide Calabria plays with Theo Hernandez in the wide defensive areas. Sandro Tonali plays alongside Ismael Benasser in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Olivier Giroud. It's the opening match day, Champions League group stage, match day one, underway. Rafael Leao. Benacer. Diaz. Firing it towards goal. And good work to deny the chance. <laughs> Going short. Benacer. And fine goalkeeping. Well, a corner right on the back of the last one. Let's see about the delivery. And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Trying to pick out a teammate. Not the best clearance. It's still alive. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Well, it's a team full of stars, and you never quite know who is going to pop up and shine. Perhaps, Stuart, it'll be Raheem Sterling today. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Koulibaly. Jorginho. Sterling. And return to Conte. High quality defending. It's a weighted pass. Can they forge ahead? A 
outrageously good piece of defending on the line. And snuffing out the danger. Zero and a goal! 1-0, and what a fast start they've made to this game. Well, just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They've been in complete control here. Underway again with Milan in charge. Jorginho. Thiago Silva. Aspili Quetta. Now with Jorginho. This is Thiago Silva. On to Jorginho. Now Chelsea in a position of menace. Jorginho just cutting off the supply Brahim Leal Diaz must score and a goal to really bolster things for them two in front Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Kukureya and Havertz. Kuribali. A fine use of the ball. Chance to cross. A real defensive commitment there. Moving forward effectively. Benasser. Giroud. And that's an excellent piece of defending to thwart him. Just failing to hit the target with his pass. And it'll be a throw in. Davide Calabria. Sandro Tonali. Teo Hernandez now in a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Mount. Now Conte being egged on by the crowd. No way through. He must finish. And there it is. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Sandro Tonali. Teo Hernandez. Now Giroud. Physically strong and secure on the ball. And possession given away. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form.
Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. So the ball is moving again. We've been treated to four goals. 3-1 the score. Kukureya. Thiago Silva. Now with Havertz. Jorginho. And return to Sterling. And the textbook interception. Sterling. And return to Havertz. Under pressure. Doesn't seem to be bothering him. Can he get one back? Oh, a smart stop. Well, this has to be their way back into the game. The crowd are certainly playing their part. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, he couldn't quite keep the header down. Goal kick. Take it away. Koulibaly. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Promising pass. Sterling. Mount. And the first 45 minutes have come and gone here at Stamford Bridge. Well, we normally expect Raheem Sterling to make an impact, Stuart, but simply hasn't on the basis of this performance. He just hasn't been able to affect the game so far. He hasn't had too much of the ball, but even when he has, he's not looked threatening. And so the second half of this Champions League group stage match day one contest commences. Well timed tackle. Can they hit on the break? Diaz. Benacer. Diaz. Now Giroud. And reading it absolutely superbly. Mount. On the ball, Aspili Quetta. Kai Havertz. Sterling. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Oh, that's an interesting pass. A corner will ensue. Who's going to get on the end of it? And Golo Conte. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball, but their attacking play hasn't been good enough so far. There's been too many safe passes and no real penetration. They certainly need to up the tempo if they're going to get back into this one. Well, perhaps they can do something better with the ball now. Mount. Here's Havertz. And return to Mount. 
Havertz. And the cross comes to nothing. Thirty minutes left for play. Nicely timed tackle. What can Chelsea do from this position? And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. Rafael Leao. Teo Hernandez now. Leao. Diaz. It needs an accurate cross. Hernandez. Diaz. He's got to score! And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. Well, they get the ball rolling again, and Milan are quite frankly handing out a very harsh lesson here. Havertz and Mount Mount corner it is for Chelsea well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change And deciding to go short with this one. Another corner. Who can they pick out? Well, not cleared away completely. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. James. Getting forward. James. Safe pair of hands, did his job. Fifteen minutes left for play. James. On to Sterling. And Sterling, but he's been a bit casual in possession. Nearing the end of the contest, and Milan are cruising, quite simply. Well, the result has never really been in doubt, has it? They've created so many chances with some brilliant attack in play. I think they've looked an outstanding team today. Corner coming up. So making the substitution now. Let's see about the delivery. And in a crowded area, the keeper has managed to get there. Sterling, Aubameyang, now Conte, Sterling, oh a vital piece of last ditch defending, can they hit on the break, well that is how to break up a counter attack, Mount, James, Sandro Tonali.
Disappointing for Milan to give it away like that. N'Golo Conte. Plenty of support here. James. And it's Aubameyang. And there it is. A goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So the current scoreline, 4-2. There will be three minutes added on at the end. Well, the perfect tackle, really. And now a throw-in. Rafael Leao. And he saw the situation developing. James. And now with Havertz. Could reduce the deficit. Pivotal moment defensively. The end of this particular story. And for whatever reason, it didn't go as a plan for Chelsea. It's a poor start to their Champions League season. Well, it's not the start they wanted. It puts them under a bit of pressure going into the next game. They need to bounce back now. No two ways about it. He really has brought his influence to bear on the proceedings. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.